guys, welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. I truly enjoy your company. I truly enjoy your likes and your shares and your comments and all that good stuff. I thank you for watching me. I truly appreciate you. Um, I am coming with you to show you our salmon cakes. Um, I'm making salmon cakes along with some rice and peas and Jamaican style, semi-Jamaican style, and along with some steamed broccoli. So I'll be back to get started and let you know how we want to put these lovely salmon cakes together. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. So now I have already sliced one of these off the skin because we got to remove these, the skin off of these. So you're just going to go ahead and slice and I'm not going to waste none of this goodness that you see um, left over on the... I'm going to try to scrape as much of that off as I can um, before. <clears throat> so we're just removing the skin. We're going to come in here and kind of take the knife and, you know, just run it across like that. I'll be back with the little pierce knife to get the rest of that. So I kind of slice it here. Then bend it back here, and then we're going to bring the knife through here, just like that. The skin is tough, so you'll feel when you're right near the bottom. And then we're just going to go in here and slice and get this, this skin off of here. We don't need no skin for our salmon cakes. We want some nice, moist, and juicy salmon cakes. So, I'll be right back to share with you the ingredients that you're going to need with this lovely salmon. But I'm going to just go ahead and continue slicing this up. And then, we'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. So, as you can see, I did go ahead take all the skin off of the salmon. I'm going to cut these up and then start chopping it so that I can get some nice little meaty pieces. And and um, and so what I'm all putting in here, I would have loved some Dijon mustard, but I don't have any. But that's okay. We're gonna stay. We're gonna be good. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna put one teaspoon, I mean one tablespoon of butter in the pan along with some olive oil. So let me just say real quick what I got going on here. So. We are gonna add, after we chop this up, we're gonna add in the Worcestershire uh, sauce, salt, pepper, uh, mayo. Um, I like the olive oil mayo, so I'm gonna do that. Some garlic powder, some onion powder, some of my um, Herb de Provence. I am going to add in some, a little bit of cayenne pepper, just for a little kick. Okay, I got two eggs to put in my mixture as well. I'm about to put a take in olive oil. So I'm gonna put some olive oil in the pan and then I am going to put in, like I said, one tablespoon of butter and then I'm gonna start sauteing down the uh, green peppers, the green peppers and onions and red pepper mixture. So that's gonna cook up so that we can add that all into our salmon mixture so and then start making the patties so you're going to need like one tablespoon of one tablespoon of butter i was going to use olive oil but you know what since we're cooking under i'm just going to use some avocado oil you know it doesn't burn as quickly as olive oil does and so i'm going to put a little of that in the pan and so once this gets to um, melted, I'm going to add in my veggies. I'm going to also cut in, cut up the, pos uh, the parsley as well to add in there, some fresh parsley. And then I'll be back to let you see how we put this lovely dish together. So stay tuned, okay? Hey, welcome back, guys. So I'm just going to slice these like this. It's already 
nice and tender, so I ain't gonna have to do much with this. It should get, so you want some nice little, it be nice and flaky, some good pieces in here. And then you just come and cube it. So it could be a little easy just to, you know, break up here. Once I start chopping and it gives me a plan ahead of chopping, um, chopping it up nice and so, so we just want to get this cut up in chunks then I'll start slice um, adding our ingredients the rest of the ingredients to this don't know if I mentioned I'm gonna try and this is something different I'm not gonna put too much in it so I'll let you know how it comes out I don't know if I mentioned I am gonna add some uh, basil pesto in here just a little bit you know just to give it a nice little taste I love I like pesto I do like basil pesto Ooh, some pesto mixed in some ground turkey make some turkey burgers or anything like that I'm just gonna start chopping this up like this You know, you just want to get it nice and so when you start mixing it up, it's all, you know, it's not too, I should have had one of those choppers. I do got a bigger knife, right? I could have used. So this is why you want to make sure you get all of that skin off because you won't be able to get it chopped up like this, you know? The skin is not needed in this dish at all. So you just want to chop this up like so. And then we're going to get this in a mixing bowl and start building our flavors for our salmon cakes. Okay. That is exactly what I'm doing here. Just start building it up. Okay, this is good. This is good. So I'm going to take this. <clears throat> I love these cutting sheets. So flexible. You just get it out and get it all in here. Like that. Get that in there. Alright, be right back. Just want to wash off my hands and all this good stuff and get Cleaned up here. Clean our area off. No contamination. As you can see, the onions and the green pepper and the red peppers doing their thing. I would have left some celery in there. Um but unfortunately, I didn't have any, so we're going on with this. It's okay if I don't have any celery mixture. We'll be just fine. Trust me. All right. Just hold on. I'm coming. Just wanted to wash off my my knife here. So I have some parsley here, and um, one thing I did not do was sharpen one of my knives. And while I was uh, chopping that salmon, I felt how, um, here's a nice little handheld knife sharpener. So I'm gonna get sharpen this up a little bit. I was looking for a knife sharpener like earlier in the year. You remember those old schools like the can opener, the electric ones, and how they used to have that? I was searching high and low and I was in Target and I was gonna get that one, right? And, um, but the thing about it, they wanted like $30. I was like, what? So, and that was the last one they had as well. And I said, well, shoot, I ain't paying no 
And watch your fingers, guys. Watch your fingers when you did it. I almost nicked mine just now. So we just want to get this cut up nice and finely so we can start building our flavors in here and put this in with the rest. So you just make sure you're chopping this up nice and fine. Don't want big chunky leaves in here. But yeah, like I said, so I was like, wow, 30, almost $40 for electric um, can opener? Mm-mm. I was like, look, I ain't getting that. <clears throat> Even this one right here was still like $15, but it gets the job done, you know? Maybe after I start making some money, I can um, <laughs> afford me one of those. $30, $40 electric uh, knife sharpeners, you know? So I'm just trying to get this all, you see, because I keep seeing some leaves in here. And I um, want to chop this up nice and good, you know? Get that. Work it out, work it out. Why I got this small cutting board, I don't know. Don't even ask me. You know you need room. You don't want to cut your fingers off while you're doing this. So, always need some room. You know? Lesson 101. Make sure you got a board. Oops. See, this is why I wiped the camera off. Don't need nothing, even though it's not my fish. All right. So, let's start building our flavors. Okay? So, we have some of this parsley here. I'm going to add that to it. Just give this a stir. This is cooking up nicely. Woo-wee! Sorry, guys. Forgot something. A little salt. A little pepper in here. Gotta build our seasoning, you know, build our flavors, you know. So, at least you know that it has flavors. Because, you know, once you start cooking something and it loses its senses of purpose, and then once you start seasoning up that salmon mixture, you know, you won't have too much seasoning to actually add in there. You know what I'm saying? So, this is cooking down nice and lovely. And soon it'll be ready for you to go ahead and start with that. Be right back. Grabbing a few items over here, and I'll be right with you. Thanks for being patient. Just grabbing me a bowl here so I can get these eggs whipped up and clear my space here. Clean it up a little bit. I don't know why I don't have a rag available. Yikes. Sorry. <laughs> A little messy, but you know what? This is real cooking. I, this ain't no, this ain't no uh, food network where they got people <laughs> uh, doing things behind the scene. This is all me getting this done for you guys. So, all right, let me wash my hands one more time and then show you how we're gonna pull the rest of this together. All right. So I'm going to get my egg started here. Where's that garbage bowl thing so I can put the egg yolk? I mean the egg thing in here. Just sit it there. Thank you. 
my handy dandy. She doing it all, y'all. She's just my girl Jazzy Jazz in here. <laughs> in here being multitasking. She's in here multitasking for mommy. Doing the camera. And multitasking. So got this whipped up. And so now we're going to start building these flavors. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back, guys. So now I'm about to build these bold, bundle, wonderful flavors up in here to our salmon cakes. I forgot to tell you. You're going to need some panko breadcrumbs, okay? The panko Chinese breadcrumbs. Don't forget that. So now let's build these flavors here. Okay, got two eggs. And do some black pepper. And we're going to do like, let's say a teaspoon of this. Uh, just play with it a little bit. I think a half a teaspoon would do because I don't have that much salmon. Got an onion powder. Herb de Provence. Here we go. Our garlic powder. I love garlic. So I go heavy on the garlic. I like the garlic taste. Okay. I did onion powder. A little salt. Remember we salt and we got salt and pepper also on our um on our green peppers and stuff like that. And here's the panko, so we're going to add this in there. You only need about one cup. I'm about to eyeball this, though. I didn't, I'm not using all that. And about one, mm, I don't know. Probably like half a, mm, you know me. I, I tell you, I don't. So about one teaspoon. <laughs> one teaspoon of that. And I have a little of this left of this pesto, which I'm gonna put in my lovely salmon. I love the taste of pesto. I think it's gonna give it a nice flavor as well. Can't go wrong. Look, we don't waste nothing in this house. So I opened up that door and I said, wait a minute. Still got a little pesto left. What am I gonna do with that? I could have made, I could have made some, um, I could have made something nice with that little bit. And we're going to do about three tablespoons of this. Right now, I'm going to just work in until I see the consistency that I'm looking for right now. So now I'm about to blend all this together up. Can't forget the rest of the stuff. Don't forget it. <laughs> So we're going to add these veggies in here that we sauteed. And always remember, guys, you can go to my food blog at Jill's Comfort Zone. You see I'm leaving most of that oil out of my way. Um, we're going to need that to sear up the salmon. You see how that, this is all going to blend up nice and well um nice and good building these flavors here all right i'm gonna clean the rest of this out anyway before i start the thing let's just get this all marinated in here so yes Woo, baby won't he do it <laughs> this looks good. This looks really, really good. And I don't want to really break the salmon down too much. You know, you want a nice, meaty, delicious. But like I was saying, don't forget you can go to my food blog at Jill's Comfort Zone. That, um, Jill Comfort Zone um, food blog and check out the recipes. 
Uh, these recipes should be up later on next week. Probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, it will be on the blog. I do have salmon cake recipe up there already. But um, since I'm doing something a little different, I want to try something new. Alright, so this is all blended together, guys. I am going to fold in the rest of that panko, okay? And then I'm going to start building the patties, and I'll be right back to show you how we're going to come and start cooking up these salmon cakes. So I'll be right back. Like I said, don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be in touch with all of the goodness from Jill's Comfort Zone, from my home to your social media. So thank you so much, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Show your girl some love. I'm going to start going live soon, but I got to get my... You know, I got to get my weight up first. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to do live yet. All right. I'll be right back. Stay tuned, y'all. Hey, welcome back, guys. So I'm about to get these patties popping. And put to get them set up in the pan. Uh, I thought it was ready. It wasn't ready. <laughs> All right, pan nice and hot. Jazzy did the patties, so they kind of thick here. So hopefully they are gonna cook up nice and neat, nice and um like. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I'll do three at a time. Let me wash my hands. I'll be right back with y'all. Tell you how the devil, the devil tried to come in here, y'all, when I said, uh-uh, not today. <laughs> I said, let me finish cooking my dinner. And so we can sit down and eat. Sure. I need a little cocktail. Hey. Okay. That's what I need. Yeah, I'm going to leave this like this. Um, give it room enough to cook in here and so we are gonna cook these up like so oh don't that look pretty y'all oh my god I can't wait I can't wait to eat oh goodness I remember my days of being able to um whew, eat crab cakes oh lord have mercy I miss eating shellfish um that's my only thing that I regret that I can't do. But I can do it for my girls, but I just can't do it. And I'm 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 dying to do a crab boil, a seafood boil, y'all. The sad part about it, I ain't gonna be able to eat none of that stuff in that pot, but the potatoes, but the potatoes, eggs, and um, <laughs> corn on a cob. But it's gonna be all good. I'll do anything for my baby girls. But I was trying to find, ooh wee, them crab legs, crab legs and stuff is out of control out here. I think I need to make a trip to New York City, New York City, yeah, New York City to get me some crab legs, huh, or have somebody ship me someone, because, um, I ain't trying to be buying you no, know, uh, paying no hundred and like almost two hundred dollars for like some three clusters of that. We ain't talking about cane crab. We talking about regular crab legs. Mm mm, honey. I ain't bowling like that. Anyway, we gonna turn these babies. Look how brown. That's what we trying to get. Just do those like that. I told you I always have problems flipping, right? I always have an issue flipping. Tonight is going smoothly, though. I'm loving it. Wow. So that's what we're looking for right there, baby. Oh, yes. And then these lovely babies. Woo! -hoo! I 
just, mm, I can't wait to eat these, you know. I think they're a little, no, I think they're good. I think they're a little too thick. But look, honey, it don't take long for some salmon to cook. Salmon one, two, three, and you'll be all good to go. So, thank you, Jazzy, for doing these patties for me, boo. Love you. <laughs> She whispering, I love you too. They can hear you talk. That's what this is what cooking channels is all about. Enjoying each other and while we're in here doing things and prepping. So you know, I think in a few videos to come, um, I think I wanna I want my daughter, I'm gonna get something for her to cook so I can show you so she can really look her eyebrows went up, but I want to record her cooking. Don't want the, don't y'all want that? They say yeah. <laughs> they say yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it to a couple likes then. Oh shoot! Comment she below. Said, okay, okay. Watch it. You gonna you brushing up on the paper towels going to fall on the floor. Oh, you heard her. She said, um, if you want to see her on my next. YouTube uh, video, you gotta get the likes up and comment below and let her know that y'all wanna see Jazzy in the kitchen cooking in Jill's comfort on Jill's comfort zone channel, okay? So yes, y'all gotta come on and comment and let me know what you like. But I can't wait to let you take. Mm, I know that basil, mm, 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 pesto. Is going to be delicious because you know that that pesto be about it all. You know, I'm just trying to brush some of this oil and butter mixture on the side. Oops, I broke into it on the side. You know, get them sides cooked, baby. Get them sides, yeah. One thing about it is. I can't wait to try these out. Let me flip these babies. They should be good. Come out almost. Yes. See? Look at God. Come on, Jesus. Ah! Oh, these ready to come out. Next time, I'll have her do... I'll have her do the... You know, I, I want her to do the... Um, patties a little thinner <clears throat> so what y'all like to do on the weekend because it is Friday guys it's Friday what y'all like to do on the weekends what y'all doing what y'all cooking in y'all kitchen you know so please please do share and let me know if you would like to see me what would you like to see me cook next Give me a food challenge or something. You know, I would like that too. Give me a nice little food challenge and let me know, you know, something that um, you don't know what I like to cook, huh? Uh-oh, Patty's about to... Patty in distress. <laughs> Patty in distress, y'all. So, what y yeah, what y'all like to cook? I love... Me, I love soul food. Um, and I also, I love to, um, I like Italian dishes. I love Caribbean dishes as well. And, um, I don't know. I, I think I'm into a lot of th different things. One thing that I haven't really uh, ventured out in making much is Indian dishes. I'll be right back. I haven't made it I haven't really ventured out into the Indian dishes um too much um and as far as the Caribbean dishes I think I've only touched a little on um I think I, will, I only touched a little bit on the Jamaican dishes um I haven't went into like Trinidadian or Haiti 
medication dishes and things of that nature. Maybe, you know, I guess I, and I have a lot of friends. That's what I miss about living in New York City. I do miss home um, because it is very, 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 you know, diverse in New York. You know, pretty much here in uh, Pittsburgh, it's just like, you either got white or black. That's it. You know, and you got a sprinkle of Chinese here, a sprinkle of, you know, uh, um, foreigners here and there, you know, sprinkle of Jews here. So, I, and I think it's kind of expanding a little more since I've moved here. I moved here in Pittsburgh, uh, 2008. And so, um, since then, you know, I haven't really seen the more diverse crowds. So, I do miss New York and being around all of my different people from all over, all over the world, you know, just getting in touch with that and tasting their delicious food. What? Go down in Flatbush? Oh, you got everything over there. <laughs> you got your own, that's the, Flatbush is the alley, y'all. That's the alley. You got all of that. They so diverse over there. You got People from Haiti, people from Jamaica, people from Trinidad, people from um, Honduras, and oh yeah. But anyway, so we're going to brown these up, and I'm going to finish these off. And then I will show you our complete dish when I come back, and then we're going to say let's eat, right? So thank you guys for tuning in once again. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video um, in comment down below. And also subscribe and hit that little bell over there and let so you can stay um, posted and updated on what is going on in Jill's comfort zone. And also, I hope you like my inspiration videos that I post. Mainly, I post on YouTube videos and saying Happy Friday, and I thought I would share those with you guys because. Sometimes we can always use some uplifting, amen? Because God is good. He's been so good. Too good not to show it, you know? So, um, once again, I'll be back and plate up this wonderful dish and show you how this all comes together. So, I'll be back. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, welcome back to Jill's Comfort Zone. So here's the dish. I steamed some broccoli, um, the rice and peas, which is delicious. You'll see that in another video. I did try that already, which is delicious. Let's talk about these salmon cakes. <laughs> Poor patties, cakes, patties. Whichever one, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's good. Mmm. It's nice and the crisp on the outside and still moist in the inside. Mmm. Look at that patty. Mmm. See? Anyway, that's your salmon. That's your salmon patties. <laughs> salmon cakes. What should I call it? Salmon cakes? Salmon patties? I don't know. But you can find this recipe at Jill's Comfort Zone. Food blog coming at you a little next week. And everything else that I cook, the rice and peas video will be up next too. So, thank you again for coming by. Thank you for checking out Jill's Comfort Zone. It's always a pleasure to sit here and do this with you. And actually, I killed it tonight. My time is getting shorter and shorter of prepping and cooking for you. So, that means I'm warming up to you two videos. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> thanks for coming again. I wish you a blessed night to everybody. Please don't forget... To like share and comment down below let me know what you think about these salmon cakes they are bomb 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 
Only thing I was missing was a nice little tartar sauce on the side. Or, mm, I need a sauce. But uh, I have one for you, so the next time I'll come with a sauce for you too. I have sauces actually on my food blog. So, like I said, I wish you a wonderful evening. Um, I Like I always, please subscribe, hit that bell at the bottom so you can stay tuned to my next video. And like I always say, stay blessed. I love you. And peace out, Brooklyn style. Yeah, shout out to my Brooklyn people. Love you guys. Until next time.